In this video, I'm going to show you the best beaches, campgrounds and hikes to do in Cape Le Grand National Park, which is a 63 kilometer drive southeast of Esperance. So if you're planning a trip to Esperance, this is the perfect video for you because you do not want to miss out on any of these places. Membenup Beach is a free camp just outside of the National Park. You can camp right on the beach here and in the morning we had dolphins swim past which was an incredible experience. would highly recommend staying here because you can access the National Park fairly easily. I would recommend a four wheel drive here as you can drive on the beach. Then we have Wharton Beach where you can spend the day here. It is brilliant. Again, you can drive onto the beach or there is a car park here if you don't have a four wheel drive. The sand was pretty churned up when we went there, but this beach is absolutely stunning. And yeah, you could easily spend the day here. I wish I had my surfboard. There's some pretty good surf here, but uh, we just went in the water top tip there is a hike to the left it's a short hike but you can actually walk up the hill and get some great viewing points of the beach so I'd highly recommend doing that and yeah as you can see the color of the water here is just incredible so Cape Le Grand National Park is known for having some of the best beaches in Australia and it really lives up to the hype so would highly recommend this one. Okay, if you're looking for a great hike to do in the National Park, I'd highly recommend Frenchman Peak. It's quite steep and there isn't really a set path. You just have to follow these markers. I wouldn't recommend going if it has been raining because I'd imagine it to be quite slippery. So just take care uh, when doing this hike. But the views from the top are absolutely fantastic. You can look over the National Park, but it is quite a steep ascent. And then you have to come back down as well so just a word of warning there that yeah if you have a fear of heights this would be something to consider okay so lucky bay if you have been doing any planning for esperance or your big lap of australia or any australia travel you may have come across lucky bay it's a very famous beach in australia and for a very good reason you can drive onto the beach we stayed at the campground which was really handy so we just, we just walked down but the beach was absolutely beautiful. This beach is very famous for there being kangaroos on the beach occasionally. Unfortunately, we didn't see any kangaroos on the beach. There were quite a few kangaroos around the campground, which was awesome. I've heard for sunrise, seeing the kangaroos down here is pretty special. However, we were here when it was quite cold, so I don't know if that affected it, but um, maybe next time we'll see some kangaroos. But Lucky Bay Campground is fantastic. You do have to book it online and it does sell out very quickly. Uh, it's pretty popular. So um, we were lucky to get a space, I think the week before, like we had a one night cancellation. It is on a first come first serve basis once you have a booking to actually get a site when you turn up. So you're not allocated a site, you just need to get there early and cruise around. Hopefully you'll get lucky. We were very lucky with a spot right uh, near the front. Okay, and some of our favourite beaches in the whole of Australia were Little Hellfire Bay and Hellfire Bay. This is Little Hellfire Bay. It's a 40 minute return hike. It's pristine. The water is very clear. It's such an interesting blue. And again, you can just walk around. But it is a very special beach. And this is one of my favourite beaches in the whole of Australia. If you are going here, it's worth the hike. It's a pretty... Uh, nice hike as well. You've got some great views on, on the way through, um, but yeah, I'd highly recommend it. And also, if you're in this area, you should check out Hellfire Bay as well. So Hellfire Bay is definitely one of my favorite beaches in Australia again. Um, it's absolutely stunning. There was pretty good surf there, so I was just doing some body surfing, but if you had a surfboard, I think it'd be pretty pretty nice yeah it's just very stunning it's a lot bigger than little hellfire but if you walk further down the beach there was basically no one there which was great that wraps up this video this was quite a short video this was just cape Le Grand national park there are some other beaches here as well which we didn't manage to get to this time around but i'd highly recommend visiting here especially if you're going to esperance we weren't exactly sure how the setup was when we got down there but esperance is a great town to um, stock up on groceries and fuel and then you can head into the national park and you could easily spend a few days here if not a week uh, if not two weeks depending on how much time you have um, but there is so much to do here so many amazing beaches hiking and just all around um, amazing uh, national park to visit so yeah if you enjoyed the video 
give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you in the next video.